They both auditioned for a role in Baz Luhrmann's Moulin Rouge, that eventually saw Ewan McGregor cast. And in an interview with GQ, published in Thursday's The Daily Telegraph, Jake Gyllenhaal opened up on his friendship with the late Heath Ledger. The 37-year-old recalled a conversation where the actor turned down the lead in Baz's Australia, out of respect, he said. I just wanted you to know, I.F. King turned it down. So that was how much Heath loved me. Jake told GQ Australia, Heath called me and was like, Hey mate, I got some news for you. I said, what? He said, Baz just offered me his next movie. I just wanted you to know, I.F. King turned it down. So that was how much Heath loved me, you know. Prior to starring together in the 2005 film Brokeback Mountain, Jake and Heath went through an arduous process auditioning for Baz Luhrmann's Moulin Rouge. I was auditioning for Moulin Rouge, Baz Luhrmann had chosen three actors. It was Ewan, McGregor, it was Heath, and me. And we auditioned with many different actresses, it was a long process, Jake detailed to the publication. The Hollywood A-lister added, they would literally put me in a room and lock the door and Heath would come in and then Heath would be shuffled through the door. Heath made his mark in a succession of movies including The Patriot, The Four Feathers, Monsters Ball, and as S in the controversial 2005 gay love drama Brokeback Mountain, opposite Jake. His streak was tragically cut short in January 2008, when he was found unconscious in his New York apartment. Heath went into cardiac arrest, brought on by an accidental prescription drug overdose. The Perth-born entertainer left behind ex-girlfriend Michelle Williams and their daughter Matilda, aged two at the time of his death. A few months prior to his passing, Heath filmed The Dark Knight, in which he received several posthumous awards.